Yeah, it's been a busy day with the weed eaters and lawnmowers and blowers. This looks like it sits outside. Got some bird dew on it. Maybe, I don't know. That's, that's what they looks like, bird dew. Uh, this unit is definitely a, has been monkeyed with quite a bit. So, uh, we'll just go over it real quick. Change the oil. Oil was definitely black, black. I'm going to change the spark plug. That'll be the last thing I do uh, after I do the blades here. I'm going to do the blades. I've got to put it up on. Got to put it up on the lift yet. <clears throat> uh, change the air filter. Date the I date uh, my items, and I uh, same thing with the oil filter. Date the oil filter. Tell you what I put in there. Um, signature mark with a smiley face. So this guy so far is missing four bolts. One bolt here, one screw, two bolts in the front. Now these are the ones that I'm kind of concerned about because you can see someone broke the broke that screw off and broke that ear off on that. So I initially told Jennifer when I had looked at this that I would remove the valve cover but I am not going to fiddle with the valve cover based on my observations with broken bolts. It's not weeping that much that I think that we need to remove it. Initially, it just seemed like, you know, there was, and you can see in uh, the video that I do with the GoPro that there's just some excess oil there, but it's not leaking or dripping enough for me to go ahead and start fiddling with someone else's uh, monkey business. <clears throat> Uh, the other thing here too is your your gas cap is actually not functioning properly because the rubber grommet in there, the seal is missing completely. It's also got a hunk out of it, and there's some debris down inside your your gas can um, that may cause some operation issues. And um, normally I would suck that out, but not in the mood to get gasoline in my mouth tonight. Uh, this is an aftermarket carburetor, and the way you can tell that is this fuel line is uh, very hard, and that happens uh, for a couple reasons. One reason, the number one primary reason for that happening is uh, uh, the Chinese fuel line that they, they are uh, selling us Americans is very crappy. If you look how this is pliable, uh, this actually has some nylon cord in it. This is just straight rubber hose <clears throat> and uh, eventually will probably break. Uh, it's a good idea if if Jennifer is not utilizing that shutoff valve to utilize that shutoff valve. And then the reason I say that is because they call these Briggs and Krakens for a reason. What happens is the gravity forcing onto uh, the float bowl and the needle in here. I don't think I have my box of carburetors i guess i <clears throat> we can do this real quick oh, hopefully without knocking over everything yeah look we got one down in here so uh what happens is there's a little rubber needle seat that sits up in here and uh that rubber needle seat that wears out and what happens is uh consumer mower comes out and it could be a commercial mower too it can happen to the commercial mower too and uh, the gas will be gone and it'll actually be inside your crankcase that's why with these guys here it really is important to check and smell your oil and make sure that uh, you don't have gasoline in it because once you start it up with the gasoline in there you get the Briggs and Kraken so uh, this will be ready though shortly yet tonight uh, hopefully I'll be able to deliver tomorrow